All right, start off with a good solid mark ready to protect the brake side. The thrower here is showing an open flick throw that we can lightly contest, but we don't want to reach all the way over there as it's not our job to guard. So here we're just in a good athletic position. Here, we're looking to stop the inside brake. And here, we're getting out to stop the around throw. You don't want to move forward and wrap around the mark because you can still be easily broken there and you're likely to cause a foul. So instead, move perpendicular to the field, which will prevent any gaining throws. A few of the areas to focus on here are to make sure that you're staying low. This is because we can react faster upwards than we can downwards. So by staying low, we can react fast, and those high release throws are less likely to be completed. For your positioning, you want to stay upright. You're not reaching to block for the inside or around. You're defending it with your body. That way, we can stay upright, be quick and mobile, as opposed to getting off balance. So after 10 seconds of having an awesome active mark, your thrower is only going to have one option, which is to the open side reset. After they make that easy reset, a handler typically thinks that they have an open upline cut because you're already on the brake side. So our priority needs to be stopping that upline because it's a major threat that puts them in great offensive power position. As soon as the reset throw happens, you can start moving towards the strike. After you've stopped that strike cut, they're going to be looking for the dump. And so we want to cover that by getting back to the far cone to stop that swing continuation and then reestablish a good mark for another rep of 10 seconds. Here's what a full speed rep looks like. Complete five reps for each force for the desired number of sets.